Now, because uh, the next ones are all one act, that means that this one's got three acts, which I guess is kind of annoying, but also kind of cool, because I get to hear the wonderful music one more time, which means you'll get to hear me sing it again. Metropolis Act Free With me, Craigie, la 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 Sorry about that, I was taking a sip of Coke. You really didn't need to know that, however, it was a long pause. And there we go with another freaking crab. Through the zappy tube, which leads up to the top level, and we're going down a slope, jumping over a cog, we over a squashy thingy my bobby, which isn't made of land this time. And we got a spin dash up here, bam ba bam ba bam ba bam. And watch more and more animals get killed. There's one. Ooh, that one got us. That animal did not die in vain. That's a happy animal. He could live on in the afterlife knowing that he actually managed to hit Sonic. Whereas the other ones, wasted lives. They're gone. They're forgotten. It's over for them. So, we're running up the screw here. La 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 la. La la la. More. Ooh, and another one of those starfishes died in vain. Ooh, two more. Okay, I'd like to keep count on how many animals have died since I made that observation. My count at the moment is eight. Eight animals have died in the needless struggle between Eggman and Sonic. So, let's just keep a count on that, okay? Oh, there's another one. Two of them, in fact. Bam, bam. And they're gone. That's ten. Ten innocents killed in this stupid charade of a battle. Sonic, you used to be cool. Three more. All three dead. And not a single one of those spikes went anywhere near me. They died in vain. They died for nothing. They died for less than nothing. And that's thirteen. And we're running up the screw things again, which is why I'm being so quiet, because screws are damn right boring. Sitting around doing nothing is not fun, Sega, okay? If you'd learn that by, say, Sonic Rush, where you have us sitting for 30 seconds in front of a hang glider for no reason, just to show off your graphics, that'd be nice. Oh, look, another three. Okay, bye-bye. Fall on comrades, 16 of them. Those poor little helpless animals, they didn't know what was coming. Poor little things. I think I heard another one. I totally lost count, so... Um, I guess I can count in post-production or something, stupid like that. Okay, so we got spikes on lava. Another one of Eggman's sadistic plots to cause Sonic extreme pain. Fortunately, he's still alive. Unlike certain animals in certain starfish-shaped robots. Those people aren't alive right now, are they? You know why? Because Sonic and Eggman killed them. They wouldn't have died if Sonic hadn't come and activated them. And they wouldn't have died if Eggman hadn't built them. So, there we go. Two murderers. Accomplices, if you will. I feel sick. Fortunately, we're stuck in cogs at the moment. Trying to climb them to get to the top, which will probably lead to the bus at some point. Oh no, it's a crab meat! Fortunately, there is an animal inside of him, and he's scurrying off free. Scurrying off free to be killed by all the wonderful traps and everything that were set for Sonic the Hedgehog. Who can run at max speed? Bamf, there goes another one. Poor little animal, he's dead. But yes, all of these free animals will have to go through the traps designed for the max speed hedgehog, so I doubt they'll be surviving long either. So, let's just say that anybody in the Metropolis Zone is probably dead, except for Sonic and maybe Tails. And there we go with another one of those starfish ones. 
poor little animal. Your sacrifice will not be forgotten. And another! How many freaking murders are going to take place today? And another! Oh my gosh! And one more. And none of these are hitting Sonic at all. No, they're just dying in vain. Whereas a grasshopper did destroy me, because grasshoppers are evil. So, I'm running on the spot with zero rings. Trying to go down because once again Sonic Team hate us and they want us to go down. So we can go back up to reset the screw and make it all work. Unfortunately that wasn't far enough so I've got to keep running and 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 then turning around and running 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 on screws which won't come back so I go down to the bottom of this stupid thing my bob keep running until you reach the bottom then go up, 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 up to the top. Yeah. And it's still not back. What the hell? So, yeah, I got a flip and go all the way back. Past this stupid thing. All the way here and then go back and find out that that hasn't come back. <sighs> Wasting all of this time because Sonic Team are sadistic buggers who want us to stand on the spot running. This isn't fun at all. It's just time wasting. Artificially extending gameplay. At least it's not doing it Hideo Kojima style, so I'm thankful for that at least. Right. And now I'm back to where I was. More starfish. Two died. There goes the third. How many starfish have died so far, noting that they take out the animal with them? Okay, now for the cheapest boss ever, because unlike all the other bosses I've fought to this point, this one doesn't have a weak point, really. You just have to keep hitting it and hitting it and hitting it until it's weak enough to die. I don't like this boss. I've run out of rings. I've never worked out how to beat that boss without losing your rings. I'm not sure if it can be done. So, this time I'm hoping that Tails doesn't hit him before I do. And I'll be able to, well, attack him, gather my rings, attack him, gather my rings, and so on and so forth until he drops dead. And we get to go to the next zone at last because we are nearing the one hour point and I really would like to stop this and go online a bit. So... Well, okay, I'm fighting the boss now, and I've actually managed to go a few hits without getting touched. However, that was the straw that broke the camel's back, because I started talking. There we go, I've hit him three ti two times left. Two little uh, things. If you haven't fought, fought this guy yet, he basically surrounds himself with little miniature versions of himself, which um, are impossible to get to the main body. And every time you hit him, a little bubble of himself comes out until they're all gone, and then you hit him one time and he dies. That's right about it. He's dead now. And he flies away like a stupid pansy. And Tails can get into the tornado and we can fly after him in the most boring level of all. I know I've said that of at least two levels so far. However, this one does really involve you doing nothing at all. So, I guess I could just describe things as we fly along. La la la, la la la, la la la. La la la, la la la, la. One. Okay, so I'm fighting... These um, harriers in the air, which um, are releasing chickens, which aren't really um, flying animals. Also turtles. So, what's happening is, we're in the middle of the air, in the middle of the clouds, and releasing all of these flightless animals, which just fall to the earth. 